hello! Uh, today's video is dedicated to One Calls the Heart because it's been a while since I've done a One Calls the Heart related video and I missed it so much. Today's video is very special because I haven't done a video about them yet. Lee and Rosemary. I'm going to be counting down my favorite Lee and Rosemary interactions uh, from the show since season 2 and season 3. So let's get started! In terms of the episodes from season 2, they are numbered by the number that Netflix has. For example, in season 2, the first episode aired as a two-hour event, but in Netflix is divided in two episodes, episode 1 and episode 2. So that's how I'm going to be mentioning them when it comes to season 2, as the way Netflix has them posted on their page. So number 10 is from season 2, episode 6, and it's when Rosemary shows Lee that she can sing and shows him what the theater means to her, sits him down in front of this little stage. You can see in that scene that she's really happy when she's in the theater, so that's when Lee promises her that he's going to build a theater so she can perform. Number 9 is from season 2, episode 7, and I love this scene with both of them because they just help each other out and it's when Rosemary helps Lee win Gowan at poker that their little signals and the way they just played it out and how they helped each other out and um, I love that scene so much number 8 is very special it's from season 2 episode 10 and it's when Rosemary goes up to Lee and she says that she is interested in his romantic intentions, uh, which at first she was a bit hesitant to give him her heart. So basically, since that moment, they start their relationship like officially, which is like the best thing. Going to number seven is from season three, episode one, which is New Year's Wish, and it's the whole thing where she's telling this reporter that Lee is her husband and. They are happily married, but basically at the end the reporter knew, he, he knew something was up. Uh, but you know, in that same episode, uh, Lee actually tells her that she has to tell the truth that they're in fact not married. So number six, it's from season three, episode two, and it's that moment where Lee shows the plans he has made for uh, the theater he promised Rosemary that he was going to do. He just wants to show her what he's been working on and that he wants to see her happy. He basically knows how much the theater means to her, so he wants to give that to her and to the town. Number five is from episode two, uh, no, wait. <laughs> Number five is from season two, episode eight, and it's when Lee gives Rosemary the four-leaf clover with a diamond in the center, I remember, and how she loves it, yet she was scared. Like, she knew that relationships had a bit of unpredictability to them. I think she was a bit hesitant to give her heart to someone else, but I'm really glad she did. Number four is from season three, episode four, and is when Lee has his accident in the sawmill, which affects his foot. Rosemary, as she is, she goes over there and like basically just wants to be there 24/7, and you know she fluffs his pillow and she tries in her way to make him feel better and to make him know that she's there for him. Number 3 is from Season 3, Episode 6, and it's when Lee proposes to Rosemary. Need I say more? Number 2, like for me, it's really... This scene to me is really beautiful and really awesome in its own way. It's from Season 3, Episode 3, and Rosemary at first, she notices that maybe Lee is short on cash, and so she tries during the episode, she tries to economize using just a pencil, even a little piece of paper. She only gives him a little piece of paper to write 
in his office, like, and no more papers. It turns out Lee was actually taking a loan uh, to expand a sawmill, and, and therefore there would be more work. Rosemary uh, decides to tell him to postpone the plans for the theater because the sawmill, to expanding the sawmill meant more than her theater. So to him that meant everything and how how dedicated she was in to protecting him and to helping him. He realizes again how much he means to her and how much she means to him. So it's like, I love it. <laughs> and number one is very special because if this hadn't happened, none of the other things I mentioned in the countdown would happen. So it's from season two, episode one, and it's Lee and Rosemary's first meetup. And I love the first meetup because Lee comes in his motorcycle, you know, it's the first motorcycle the town has ever seen. Uh, and she notices it, obviously. And she's very intrigued by this guy who came in in the motorcycle and wants to know more. And he's like this man of mystery. And um, he also is very intrigued by her. They have like this flirty banter thing going on, and I love it. So I have to say that this meetup is very special, and I have to mention it as number one. So that is my countdown. These are my 10 favorite Rosemary and Lee interactions in the show. So please tell me in the comments below if you have a favorite Lee and Rosemary interaction that I didn't mention in this countdown and I would love to hear it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. I am going to put the link here right now and it'll be at the end card at the end of this video. So be sure to subscribe because if you subscribe then right after I upload any video, you'll get it right away. I really want to bring back the quote of the week. So the quote of this week would be, talent is given by God, our gift to him is fulfilling it. Quick reminders, if you haven't seen What Calls the Heart, it's available on Netflix, season one and two. Season three hopefully will be Netflix soon, but I know it's on demand and the DVDs are coming soon as well. And the, there's going to be a One Call So Hard Christmas movie coming in December 25th and you can't miss it, it's going to be so great, I can tell already. And the new season will be coming back on 2017, so be on the lookout for that and thank you guys so much for watching, God bless, bye!